If you're familiar at all with manga, anime, specifically shonen series, you've definitely heard of the term the big three. Now, for the uninitiated, what are the big three? One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach. These were just the three biggest shonen manga that dominated Shonen Jump for a very long time. Here's where I have some feelings of contention. I don't believe Bleach really deserves to be called um, one of the big quote-unquote three. If you've seen any of my other reviews, you might know. I have some issues with Naruto. However, I do completely respect and understand Naruto's place as this conglomerate of a franchise. It's the only series I've ever seen that quite rivals One Piece. There's enough evidence to show that One Piece still dominates Naruto in a lot of ways. But Naruto is a huge, and honestly the only contemporary, truly, to One Piece that has ever truly, truly rivaled the massive series that is One Piece. Bleach, on the other hand, while immensely popular and well-praised by its fans, Putting it in the category of quote-unquote the big three says that it is just as good, groundbreaking, innovative, and large of a series as Naruto and One Piece. Well, here's why I kind of think that that's, that, you know, we, sh we should stop calling it the big three because, well, uh, I don't really know how to put this lightly, but Bleach sucks. Like, I mean, it sucks. Here's the thing. Uh, again, if you've seen any of my other reviews, you will know that I, I, I have some disparaging things to say about Naruto, but I would say I more or less have a love-hate relationship with the, the series of Naruto. There are things I love about Naruto. There are things I think are fantastic about Naruto. There are lots of things that I think are just awful about Naruto. However, as I've stated, I get why people like it. I get what the hype is about. I get where all of the fan base, all of the hype comes from. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Same thing with things like Hunter x Hunter. I may not like Hunter x Hunter, but I get it. I get why people like that series so much. Bleach, however? I don't mean to actually be critical for the sake of being critical because I simply didn't like it. No, I don't get why people like Bleach. This series is bad. It sucks. I truly do not understand why people like it. You know, I've always heard about Bleach, and I've always seen that there are people that rave about Bleach, but at no point have I ever actually heard a fan say what they truly like about Bleach. Ask a fan of Bleach what they like about Bleach, and they probably won't have much to say. Like, I've had people say, oh, it's like Dragon Ball Z with swords. They'll be like, oh, the characters are really good. Okay, what what about them is what what about them is good? Or I'll have someone say, "Oh, just wait till you get to this part." Well, no, I didn't ask you what part I should get to. I asked you what what's good about it. Oh no, just wait till you get to this part. And here's another thing: it seems that no matter who I ask, it's always kind of like a different answer. Here, here's here's an example: things like Hunter Hunter, Naruto, One Piece, whatever. Like you can always say what exactly about these shows that are really truly amazing and incredible and worth indulging in. I can tell you what about Naruto you will enjoy. Everyone may universally say the Shunin exams in Naruto is fantastic. It has wonderful character development, some of the greatest dramatic moments that the series will ever have. It has some of the best character development for some of the coolest side characters that you'll ever meet. Even at times, like, some of the character arcs completely peak and it has some of the most heartbreaking moments that you'll see. If you don't know anything about Naruto, a lot of times if you ask any fan of Naruto, what's the point where Naruto really kicks off into high gear, they'll tell you the Shunin exams. More than likely. Same thing with One Piece. If you ask any fan of One Piece, anytime, when does the series really kick off into high gear, almost always people will say, Arlong Park. Wait till you get to Arlong Park. It will have some of the best top-tier storytelling and character development, some of the most dramatic backstories that will make you cry, that will just make you shed all kinds of tears and just feel all depressed and everything. Shunen exams in Naruto, Arlong Park in One Piece, right? These are, like, unanimous. Or, for instance, um, everyone told me 
with Hunter x Hunter, the Chimera and Sark. And when I got to the Chimera and Sark, I get it. I completely understood why people like that. But with Bleach, it's all over the fucking place. Tell me all kinds of different arcs. They're like, oh, wait, wait till you get to the to the this arc, or wait till you get to this arc. I don't know. It's all kind of sucked for me. Let me let me explain something. I think the concept is is dumb. I the action is like stilted and it it, it feels almost two dimensional and flat. Like it's just a lot of old school. Hold a sword above your head and yell, and then have a scene where everybody looks on, and then the camera pans away for a second or like there's just one big sword slash with a yell and then a beam of energy blasts off of the sword there's not a lot of choreography so even the stuff that's supposed to be cool it just feels so stagnant and stiff and then the characters are it just feels like the kid with the cool hair he's the protagonist and then everyone else you have the big titty ditzy chick who's just there to be a big titty ditzy chick and then you have other people. And they don't do anything. They're not important at all. And he, here's what like really gets me about the series. I remember when the, the Star Wars movies, the newer Star Wars movies were coming out, everyone complained that Rey was such a Mary Sue and Rey got all these power-ups out of nowhere and how can Rey do this or Rey do that? Why is she such a Mary Sue? She can do whatever and whenever the plot needs her to do it. Listen, Ichigo was doing that way before Rey in Star Wars was. Ichigo is the worst Mary Sue I have ever fucking seen. It is disgusting. It is abhorrent. I hate Ichigo. I hate this character. All he is is just a bottomless well of potential energy that comes out right when the plot fucking needs it to. I hate Ichigo. There is zero struggle within his character. He catches on to everything almost instantaneously and becomes the best at whatever it is that he needs to do. He gets the powers. He shows great potential. Sure, I'm with it. He's the protagonist of a shonen manga series. He's supposed to have all that kind of stuff, right? But the rate at which he excels, it's its just ridiculous. It's not like Luffy and Naruto, where they begin in this world, and they're already established as trying to excel within the world that they're in at the thing that they're trying to be. Like, they already begin like that. Most people in most shonen series, they begin already on the path of, of whatever they're trying to be, already middle of their training or middle of of trying to accomplish whatever it is the big goal of of their series is going to be when bleach starts ichigo is just a 15 year old kid nothing else he's just a teenager just a normal teenager and his big thing is that he gets bullied because he has orange hair or some shit like it, it's really dumb it's really like he has a bunch of mobsters that try to beat him up because he has orange hair it's it's dumb it's really dumb He's a complete dick to his dad. Like, I don't understand why this dude shits on his dad so much. Like, it doesn't even show why. It's it's played up for a, a constant gag, but it's like, why are you continuously just shitting all over your dad? The, and the reason why I say this is because I just thought to myself, when I was 15, if I tried to do some shit like this to my dad, do you know how he would have responded to me? <laughs> Shit. Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! So then, the series kind of begins, he gets the powers from Rukia, and he's kind of learning the ropes, and he's kind of bouncing around, and he's kind of just figuring stuff out. Okay, cool. It, it, it was boring, and... and you know, it not really anything fun was happening. No interesting. I did nothing was nothing was interesting. I'm sorry. None of the this, the stuff with the Quincy guy and all that. And then it, it wasn't interesting. I'm sorry. It just wasn't. Um, the only thing that was interesting was the fact that Rukia had some sort of secret and she was breaking some sort of sacred law from wherever it was she was at. That stuff. It's in, it's an intriguing concept to go with, right? Then it comes out. It's her brother. Oh shit! She's got a brother. She's of some type of nobility or some type of fancy lineage from wherever she's at so they come they fuck ichigo up cool then they decide they're gonna go invade the soul society to save rukia 
cool, I get it. Okay, we're on a cool path here. I'm liking where things are going. Um, the whole invasion of the Soul Society arc, it, 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 it's dumb. Like, I mean, it's, it's dumb. Everything is plot convenience, and it just feels like everything's being made up as it goes. The way they get into the Soul Society, it's just like, I gotta fire you out of a cannon, and you gotta hold your soul energy together, and you're gonna be in an orb of energy. I don't. I just don't even know. It's just sure. Why not? Why not have that happen? Cool. I well, f whatever. As soon as they land, Ichigo just wins every single fight. And here, here's where I don't like. He he runs into, um, I, I don't even want to say like, just like a soldier or a lieutenant or so something. The, the fucking the, the bald fuck. He runs into him, and he, he's part of the squad that's known for fighting, that all they do is train how to fight and everything. You're telling me that Ichigo, a 15-year-old high school kid, who just a couple weeks ago didn't know a goddamn thing about any of this Shinigami soul reaping stuff, didn't know anything about it, all of a sudden, he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with trained soldiers who presumably trained for like hundreds of years or something in this other world like on their home turf you're you're really gonna expect me to believe that and now i get it he has all the potential he has the 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 strength inside of him or whatever it is powers dormant inside of him sure that doesn't change the fact that he is a 15 year old kid who just learned about all of this stuff that's not gonna change the fact that he doesn't know how to actually fight you cannot convince me that he learned how to fight this well. But, you know, Bleach doesn't have any well choreographed fighting. Everyone just waves a sword above their head, throws the sword down, and just hopefully they land an attack. That's all it is. It's just a bunch of stagnant shots of people holding swords above their heads, yelling, calling out their attacks. Someone else like, oh no, I don't know if I'll be able to, to dodge it. Just move to the fucking left, you idiot. Just, just step aside. I, I have no idea how sword fighting works, but I just, I assume that if someone's charging at you full blast, screaming with a sword held all the way above their head, I mean, at the very least, you could probably just stab them in the fucking ribs because they're wide open. And then, uh, Kenpachi, this guy, cool design by the way, um, he's built up as the coolest, biggest, badass, physical power, just raw strength. He is known for fucking guys up. He's this, this, just this. He's this no-nonsense brute force. I'm all about fighting. I'm just looking for a fight. He means business. And this guy has history on the battlefield. Okay. Did this, and he's a captain. And he's like, okay, this guy, he's gonna... Oh, he's looking for Ichigo. Ichigo's in trouble now. How He's not gonna be... Oh, he beat him? Oh, I Ichigo won? What? Okay. A 15-year-old high school kid just waltzed into the Soul Society and, and beat... The most well physically trained highest ranking like veteran on, on the force or something like what really you're gonna tell me that that's that's really the the angle you're gonna expect me to believe but he beats everyone he beats renji he beats the bald guy he beats kimpachi he beats uh rukia's brother he beats everyone and every time all he, it's the same thing he goes in he fights he gets hurt he goes down in the sewers for like a few hours, immediately recovers all of his injuries, gets more power, goes back out there, fights someone else, gets a bunch of injuries, heals in the sewer for a few hours, comes back. It's just the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And then he says something like, it's just on the side. People go to the Soul Society because it's like heaven and Soul Reapers are, they're exercising spirits and evil guys and... Um, helping lost souls find their way to the Soul Society. And Ruki even says to a child that, hey, you know, I'm going to send you to Soul Society. Your mom's there. It's a place where everything's great. Basically, the Soul Society is heaven, right? You get exercised there. You get sent there to your soul, blah, blah, blah. Heaven, right? It's endless. She even says, oh, it's a great place. No one's ever hungry or wants for anything. Like, you're going to be good forever, right? Rukia's backstory is all about, she's from, like, the 79th or 78th di district or whatever uh, from the Soul Society, her and Renji. And they grew up poor, and they didn't have anything, and they had to fight for what they wanted. So you're telling me that in heaven, in in heaven, when you die and go to heaven, there's like a whole class system? Like you can exist within ghettos and be in poverty? Well, I don't, I don't get, 
do you see what I'm saying? If you can't die, if you can't get hungry, if, if you're not wanting for anything, you're in the afterlife, so to speak. How are you living in, in fucking poverty? That doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, if someone told you that you were going to heaven, and they're like, alright, well, but you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be on welfare. Well, motherfucker, I don't want to go to heaven then. I'm doing better here. I didn't know there would be food stamps in heaven. I didn't know that was a thing, but Bleach apparently introduces that concept. And again, when Ichigo fights, it's just one power-up after another power-up after another power-up. He goes, within a matter of days, a high school teenager who knew nothing about this soul society or anything of that nature. All he knew is that he could, he could see spirits from time to time. But he was just a regular-ass high school kid. That's it! Then a few weeks later, he beats not one, not two, not three, but a bunch of the highest ranking caliber of soldiers in the Soul Society. Who even say, it's taken me hundreds of years to perfect this ability. You'll never... Oh, you beat me. Every single time it happens, Ichigo is an endless pool of just whatever the plot needs him to be doing. And all of the other characters are just irrelevant. And then it gets to the point where it's like, well, I know Ichigo's not in trouble because he he can't be. He can, the minute he beat Kenpachi, I was like, well, he can do anything. He can just pull a rabbit out of his ass and he's fine. Ichigo sucks. And there's nothing interesting about the plot. It's it's just it's contrived. You went like 40 episodes. It just feels like they, they stretch so much stuff out that's like, they, not that much really happened. Like, a guy faked his death and then it was like, oh, it was me the whole time. It was really stupid. And then all of a sudden, uh, Rukia's brother's like, oh, I'm, I'm a good guy and I'm gonna help out now and redeem myself. I get it. I know you probably grew up with it, but I'm sorry. This show seriously sucks. Like, it's bad. There is not, I, I cannot actually recommend it to anyone. There are other shows that I dislike, that I understand why people like them, and I could even recommend them to people based on something that they like. I cannot actually find a reason to recommend actually watching or reading Bleach. I can't. It's just a boring, bad series. It's not fun. The action isn't cool. The story isn't interesting, it's not hard to follow, it's just a bunch of bland characters doing bland fights with a bland story. For bland reasons. So in terms of calling Bleach one of the big three, I get that it stood neck and neck for a short period of time in Shonen Jump alongside the giants of One Piece and Naruto, but in terms of longevity, it does not deserve to be in the ranks of One Piece and Naruto. It doesn't really deserve to be in the ranks of any anime. It just deserves to be called for what it is. A series that sucks.